Question 2b. The diagram shows the points A, negative 2,5, B, 4,3, and O, 0, 0,0. The point C is the fourth vertex of the parallelogram OABC. Part 1. Show that the equation of AB is x plus 3y minus 13 equals 0. The first thing I'm going to do is to find the gradient of interval AB using the two-point formula. Now the coordinates of point A is negative 2,5 and the coordinates of point B is 4,3. Substituting these values into the two-point formula, y2 minus y1 in brackets divided by x2 minus x1 in brackets, we have gradient AB is equal to 3 minus 5, so that's y2 minus y1, divided by 4 minus negative 2, that's x2 minus x1. And that equals negative 2 divided by 6, which equals negative 1 over 3. Next, use the point gradient formula to find the equation of interval AB. So we have y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Now point B lies on interval AB, so I'm going to use the coordinates of point B, substitute that into the point gradient formula, and also the gradient of negative 1 over 3, which we just found, to find the equation of interval AB. So substituting those values in, we get y minus 3 is equal to negative 1 over 3 times x minus 4 in brackets. Multiplying both sides of the equation by 3, we get 3y minus 9 is equal to negative x minus 4 in brackets. Expanding the brackets on the right hand side, we get 3y minus 9 is equal to negative x plus 4. And then moving the two terms on the right hand side over to the left hand side, we get x plus 3y minus 13 equals 0 as required. Part 2. Show that the length of AB is 2 times the square root of 10. Using the distance formula, d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 in bracket squared plus y2 minus y1 in bracket squared, noting that x2 minus x1 corresponds to the run of interval AB and y2 minus y1 corresponds to the rise of interval AB. Now we found the run of interval AB to be 6 and the rise of interval AB to be negative 2. So we can substitute those values for x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1 respectively. So d is equal to the square root of 6 squared plus negative 2 in brackets squared, which equals to the square root of 40, which simplifies to 2 times the square root of 10 units as required. Part 3. Calculate the perpendicular distance from O to the line AB. A line that is perpendicular to AB has a gradient that is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of interval AB. And that's worked out by negative 1 divided by negative 1 over 3, which equals 3. Now the line passes through the origin, hence its equation is y equals 3x. Next, find the point of intersection of interval AB and the line y equals 3x by solving simultaneously the equations y equals 3x and x plus 3y minus 13 equals 0. Now from equation number 2, I'm going to substitute 3x from equation number 1 into y from equation number 2. So by substitution, x plus 3 times 3x minus 13 equals 0. And simplifying the left hand side, we get 10x minus 13 equals 0. And solving for x, we get x is equal to 13 over 10. And that corresponds to the x coordinate of the point of intersection. Now to find the y coordinate, and we can use either equations 1 or 2 to find that. So I'm going to use equation number 1 for simplicity. I'm going to substitute x equals 13 over 10 for x here. And we get y is equal to 3 times 13 over 10, which equals 39 over 10. So the coordinates of the point of intersection of the line y equals 3x and the interval AB is 13 over 10, 39 over 10. Finally, to use the distance formula to find the length of this interval here, so that's the interval from the origin to the point of intersection, we have the square root of 13 over 10 minus 0 in brackets squared plus 39 over 10 minus 0 in brackets squared. 
which equals the square root of 169 over 10, which equals 13 over the square root of 10 units. Part 4. Calculate the area of parallelogram OABC. We can apply the formula base times height to find the area of parallelogram OABC. Now the base in this case is interval AB, which is 2 root 10 units. And the perpendicular height is 13 over the square root of 10, which was found in part 3. Multiplying the base and the height together to give the area of the parallelogram, we get area is equal to 2 times the square root of 10 times 13 divided by the square root of 10. Now the square root of 10s will cancel, so we're left with 2 times 13, which equals 26 square units. Part 5. Find the perpendicular distance from O to the line BC. The length of interval BC is equal to the length of interval OA because they are opposite sides of the parallelogram. And that equals the square root of negative 2 all squared plus 5 squared, which equals the square root of 29 units. Now the area of the parallelogram is equal to BC times H, where BC is the base of the parallelogram and H is the perpendicular height, which is also equal to the perpendicular distance from O to interval BC. And we found the area of the parallelogram from part 4, which was 26 square units. So substituting 26 for the area of the parallelogram and the square root of 29 for BC and solving for H, we get 26 is equal to the square root of 29 times H. Dividing both sides of the equation by the square root of 29, we get the perpendicular distance is 26 over the square root of 29 units.